Olivia, Elaine, and Christine. And you guys are here uh, with uh, Showtime, uh, which is a dance studio here out of Missoula, but also you're here to talk about a fundraiser that's happening called the uh, MCT dance -a -thon. Correct, that's correct. So this is the first time this is going on. I see, I looked at the website, and it, see, it seems like your goal is to raise $10,000? Yes, that's correct. Yep, that's $10,000 um, is our goal. However, you know, if we could exceed that, that would be ideal. Um, the $10,000 really is to um, continue to support the arts in the Missoula community. So that $10,000 is going to go towards continuing student programs that um, Missoula Children's Theater conti uh, continues to provide yearly, as well as continuing the community side of it with the productions we put on, five productions per year. Um, and so that really, that money is going towards continuing to support those things. Awesome. So how long have you guys been dancing so far? 11 years. You've been dancing 11 years? How old are you? 13. You're 13, so you've been dancing ever since you were two? Yep. Wow. What is your first memory of dancing? Just being with my friends and being on the floor. Nice. Rolling <laughs> 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 around. Those are your memories? Yeah. What about you? Um, yeah. So I've been dancing since I was three, so nine years. And probably my favorite memory is probably all of the long days in the studio on Saturdays and all of the long days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how often do you guys uh, work on these kind of group projects? I mean like not necessarily projects, but like fundraisers and events. Yeah, so um, we have a, a performance company, and so every year there's new kids in the company or continue to, or kids that continue year after year. So these kids are some of my most elite, kind of con longest students, and so I brought them with me today. But um, we'd love to participate in these kind of things. Um, what the fundraiser also does is give local studios an opportunity to perform. So the fundraiser kind of is set through the decades. So it starts with 1920, goes all the way through 1990, and each hour is a different decade. Oh. And so it gives each, um, kind of each hour an opportunity to learn dances, or not each hour, but each kind of dance person in town. Um, the opportunity to come and perform during one of those hours. So our studio is performing during the 1940s, so these two lovely ladies will actually be performing a tap duo, um, because tap kind of became big in the 1940s. Um, and then our large performance company, which has 22 students in it this year, um, will be performing during the 70s. And so our huge performance company will be performing a number to the YMCA. Uh, not only are, we're not the only studio in town performing, we also have um, a salsa teacher coming from the Downtown Dance Collective, Heather Adams from the Dance Collective, Colleen Rosparski from um, the Ballet Arts Academy. So it's kind of an opportunity also for all of the dance community um, to get together and kind of support one of the big theaters in town where most of us do most of our performing. So that's another thing is that, you know, we don't have a lot of performance spaces in town. We have kind of the University and Missoula MCT Performing Arts. And so um, in order to keep those kind of beautiful facilities alive, we have to continue to raise money to keep, um, you know, things are always changing, updated, you know, lights, sound, all right. those different things. So, yeah. yeah. And the uh, community constantly supports MCT yeah. on many endeavors. Um, I remember the last fundraiser was uh, A Million Reasons Why. Yep, exactly. Which, you, of course, uh, the MCT did raise that money. Yep, so their goal was to raise a million dollars, and so they were able to do that. And once again, that money, you know, goes towards continuing education in the theater arts for, you know, ages from, you know, three all the way through 99 kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yep, so this is a open for everybody to join in. Yeah. Um, the cost to get in is ten dollars. Correct. So that's if you if you just wanna go down and you know, just watch them dance and maybe get some ideas if you go clubbing or whatever. <laughs> um, but it's also just a good experience to get up on stage and just kind of show people what you got. Yeah, exactly. So basically what happens is there were some teams that were able to sign up, and you actually can still sign up today, create a team, come down. Um, and so the goal is that you know those teams would dance throughout the nine hours, someone on um, the dance floor every hour, every minute of every hour. Oof. I don't know if it's going to be possible, but I think it will be. 
Um, but we also have food and drinks and prizes that will be given away to those teams. But also, if you just want to come for a couple hours or you want to come and watch some of the performances, um, it's just $10 at the door. If you are of legal drinking age, that includes an adult beverage. If not, there's also food and drink for those that are choosing not to. But you can come, $10 at the door, um, stay for an hour, stay for a couple hours, uh, join the dance party. Our goal is that, you know, once my 22 students are there, you know, their parents will bring family members and they'll all come and it'll just be a huge kind of mosh pit dance party of the 70s. Um, part of our dance piece is at the end of it actually, we're kind of goal and I've told all of my students to go out and grab someone off the dance floor. Awesome. Um, because that's really, you know, dancing is fun. It's accessible to everyone, yeah. you know. And, and you can't go to the dance if I'm not dance. Right, exactly. So, um, you know, I think that's really cool. Uh, not only are we reaching out to people in the community, but also MCT um, goes out to 65,000 children every year. You know, they work with that many students. Yeah. They go to 11, it's international. Right. They go to 1,100 different locations just in the 50 states in Canada. And then, like you said, goes international to India and Germany and Bahrain and, you know, Italy, and so it's really this amazing program that we want to continue to support because it only brings more attraction to Missoula. Yeah, and most people who've never been to Missoula knows Missoula Children's Theater. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I know that uh, well, you know we're all kind of wide set up on here, so we have a little <laughs> more room here. So there's a reason for that. Um, we're gonna do some dancing. Yeah. So uh, since gonna... our major decade for our studio specifically is the '70s. Elena and Olivia are going to teach you one of the classic moves um, from the 1970s. It's called the disco finger. So, take it away, ladies. Okay. okay. So, we're going to start out with just pulling hand on one hip and pointing up, down, up, down, up. Oh, cross. Down, yeah. Okay. Down. And down. then you add your hip. When your arm is up, you put your hip to the side and switch. Ah. And then if you want to get like really complicated, you can go both fingers. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. <laughs> and then slide. Ooh, yeah. Or something like that. Uh. And then nice. also if you want to get even more complicated, this is my favorite part. Okay. you can double time the hips so it goes yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, I wasn't bad in high school, so I know rhythm. It's rhythm, there you go. <laughs> nice. Well, well, guys, you can enjoy some of that. Maybe not this, but that. <laughs> all happening at the um, MCT all day tomorrow from 1 to 8. No, 1 nine, to 9. nine. So it's 8 hours, each hour devoted to each decade. Um, check it out. If you have a favorite decade, you can do go there. But if you want to see what other decades have to offer, that's a great uh, experience as well. So thanks, guys, for joining me. Thank you so much. And support your local theater. Yeah. All right, we'll be right back. Right after, ooh, after I trip. <laughs> <laughs>